to understand the overwhelming hatred for planet. Cheers. Fitness. Wait, it never played it. It never played it. Control and click. Wait, what is it? What is it? What is it? Control, control clicking. To understand the overwhelming hatred for Planet Fitness, you first need to understand their business model. Planet Fitness was created with the goal of having a non-competitive culture opposite to that of something like Gold's Gym, where bodybuilding is glorified. Everything in Planet Fitness is catered towards the less experienced beginner, and on the surface, this makes Planet huh? Fitness look like a fairly positive place. However, as we look into the methods they use to achieve this beginner-friendly image, you'll start to understand why their approach also receives an insane amount of backlash. This image posted to the Gym Memes Facebook page shows a note attached to a Planet Fitness leg press reading, we do not cater to bodybuilders or heavyweight lifters. Please help us keep our non-intimidating environment by loading only four weight plates on each side, with this note showing that not only are Planet Fitness trying to what? cater to beginners, but they're also trying to repel anyone who might consider themselves an intermediate or advanced lifter. In addition to requesting that what? members only use a maximum of four plates on the leg press, Planet Fitness gyms also feature no squat rack, no deadlifting area, and no bench press, with the Smith Machine being the only alternative for those looking to perform these exercises, or if you're desperate enough, you can evidently use the machine where you'd usually do dips. The gym requests that members refrain from doing T rows, overhead That's presses, you, clean ah, and jerks. That's for you, la, dude. This is your gym, dude. Shut your dumb ass up, man. You imagine thinking I give a shit or I'm intimidated by plates, man. I lift the bar and only the bar. What about it? I don't give no fuck, man. I don't give no fuck, man. Listen, listen, my brother, brother. If you get intimidated by plates, okay, okay, the, the gym is probably not for you, okay? Nothing's gonna help you save your self confidence if you get intimidated by fucking somebody else living more plates. Like, what the fuck? Deadlifts and even requests that members don't do supersets, which is achieved in part by maxing out their dumbbells at 75 pounds or 34 kilos, with this number being an even lower 60 pounds or 27 kilos, depending on which franchise you go to. As an alternative, Planet Fitness gyms are instead filled with excessive amounts of cardio equipment, with a possible goal of encouraging their members to avoid the weight training area altogether. So Jesus. basically, Planet Fitness doesn't allow you to actually get stronger. The only gym that doesn't like people going to the gym. I went to Planet Fitness as a joke with one of my friends because your first day you get free to test out and I was deadlifting 360 on the Smith machine and I put pads underneath the weight so it wouldn't slam and the manager kicked me out because I was noticeably stronger than everyone else and creating an intimidating atmosphere. Planet Fitness having a problem with people who are noticeably stronger no than everyone shot. else is something that can also be observed in countless different YouTube videos. I wasn't there a week and I was told you intimidate the other patrons and uh, we don't like your type here. For example, four times world's strongest man Brian Shaw was kicked out of Planet Fitness whilst making a fairly relaxed YouTube video, with this piece of content pairing another titled Planet Fitness Cancelled My Membership After 500 Pound Bench Press, cementing their dislike for those who go to the gym to push their limits. As an extra measure to avoid intense exercise, Planet Fitness also has their notorious lunk alarm, which can be triggered by Planet Fitness staff anytime they see a member working out too intensely. <laughs> Lunk alarm is actually pretty what? goaded. If it goes off, it means that you're making gains and the staff is just making sure that everyone knows that you're built different. But oh, while this person dude. managed to frame the lunk alarm as beneficial, on a wider scale, the concept has been criticized pretty damn heavily. The alarms are set to trigger when they detect muscles actually contracting. Planet Fitness, you're being too late. This guy took it under a whole different level, man. This, this guy's profile picture the alarms are is, the, is the fucking political compass. This guy is on a whole different scale. Holy shit, man. Set the trigger when they detect muscles Jesus. actually contracting. Planet Fitness, you're being too loud. Sanus also Planet Fitness, frog. use a tornado warning sign to replace the noise of normal gym activities. This alarm is infinitely more disruptive than the clanking of weights or grunts of strained lifters. It's also startling, which can cause severe injuries to anyone under load. And in addition to simply having the lunk alarm, there are countless comments describing ridiculous situations during which the alarm has been sounded. I accidentally dropped my drink off the treadmill and the lunk alarm went off. I got kicked out. The lunk alarm Goes the off if you accidentally alarm. drop a pen. All right, guys, I'm a plan of fitness. Watch how ridiculous this is. Oh, 
Okay, dude. Okay, and, but to be dude. fair to Planet Fitness, Jesus. both gym members and the staff themselves have often stated in videos and comments that the lunk alarm is rarely ever used. Yes, there is a lunk alarm. However, I've never even heard it go off. I've worked at two different Planet Fitness locations and we never once sounded the lunk alarm on people for anything. I think it depends on the individual locations, whether they're franchise or not. We were told that we weren't allowed to use it, that it was more of a novelty item. I went to Planet Fitness for six months and never heard the alarm. I think it mostly depends well, on- Okay, so their model is like they think that they're losing business from clients leaving because they're intimidated by other people lifting more weights. It's like, that's like their model pretty much. The manager you get. Treat the alarm as a sign of a good or bad manager. If that alarm sounds, it's time to find another gym. As a person who works at Planet Fitness, we never set the lunk alarm off. We don't pull the lunk alarm. We don't yeah, pull is, it. I can't understand because there's that. no purpose. Not really. Like, you know, on the flip side too, we like to have fun. Sometimes as soon as- Dude, because I, I disagree massively because the gym is all and everything about you. It has nothing to do with anybody else but you. That's what it should, it should always be. I think that's something that you find within yourself and it's not some 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 company or whatever like, that's gonna ingrain these values or these thoughts into you, okay? That's just, that's just kind of how I feel, about I feel about it. Once we just hear anything, boom, we just pull it. And it's different when your manager's there and when your manager's not there. However, while the alarm can be dismissed as somewhat of a meme, drinking out of a gallon water jug as well as their dress code are both something that Planet Fitness does take extremely seriously. In the previously mentioned video where Brian Shaw gets kicked out of Planet Fitness, a sign can be seen which reads, Dress code. To maintain our no gym intimidation environment, please no jeans, boots, sandals, or string tank tops. Thank you. Other banned items of clothing include do- Wait, what? No jeans, boots, sandals, or what? Please no jeans, boots, sandals, or string tank tops, thank you. Other banned items of clothing include do-rags, skull caps, bandanas, and judging from internet anecdotes, this dress code is definitely the next reason behind why the gym is so hated. I used to have a Planet Fitness membership and on multiple occasions they asked me to go home no and drags. change my gym outfit to something less revealing, I was wearing a tank top and shorts lol, or they would give me one of those hideous white t-shirts with their logo to cover myself up. In this video titled Planet Fitness Fail Why I Cancelled My Membership, the girl explains that she was confronted by staff for simply having a one gallon water bottle. One of the workers did a beeline for me one time while I'm working out, interrupts my set, and is like, oh, you can't have that gallon of water here. Whilst another member was denied entry altogether because his water bottle was too big to fit in their designated cup holder. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle and Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out Jesus, because she says my man. bottle would not fit into her cup holder. Imagine asking someone to leave because they're drinking water and being healthy. For being a judgment-free facility, all they do is I'm not gonna say it. No. Judge, and this is it. why their approach is so controversial. The judgment-free slogan is I would be more intimidated by the staff of a fitness gym being oversized than going to a bench press and seeing too many plates. That, dude, that's, that is genuinely how I feel internally about it. Targeted toward their main demographic beginners, what? but in order Whoa, to- Whoa, dude! What, man? To achieve this branding, I, that's, that's, they dude. have to be judgmental that's, that's, toward dude. anyone who isn't a beginner, making their it's, approach- it, it's, it's not, it's not that, that the lady's off-putting, it's that, that by comparison, if you're, if you're gonna compare, you compare, these two inoffensive things, right? Then that's, yeah. Incredibly hypocritical. So, no judgment, except you get to judge. That's right. We it's won't judge comparison. or criticize you unless you're someone in shape in a gym. No judgment zone unless we are the ones judging. Planet Fitness, no judging. Also, Planet Fitness judges anyone who actually wants to work out properly, with this criticism also being bundled in with more sinister theories about why Planet Fitness fights tooth and nail in order to maintain their judgment-free branding. If you think about it, the entire concept is an incredible well, idea. By keeping the judgmental this. people away, you only attract the insecure who pity themselves. At the same time, you keep away any serious lifter maybe who could show what is- Maybe shirtless and, and go straight up without, without, a, without a towel on the, on the machines? I don't even know. Can you do that? possible, therefore reassuring these half-heartedly gym goers that what they're doing is absolute oh, okay. peak performance. The picture of roid raging testosterone monsters is planted into people's heads, thus binding them even stronger to that gym. Financially speaking, it's a masterpiece. Perhaps this is a bit of a conspiracy theory, but it's also possible that it's in Planet Fitness's best interest to keep their members out of shape so they'll continue to pay for membership. On the first Monday of every yeah. month, Planet Fitness hosts Pizza Monday, during what? which free pizza is given to members before, after, and even during 
during their workouts. Then similarly on the second no Tuesday sense. of every month, Planet Fitness has Bagel Tuesday following the same concept, but with free bagels. Planet Fitness makes a pretty decent argument for why they consider this to be acceptable, stating on their website, it's okay to indulge in a treat every once in a while. The truth is one slice of pizza isn't gonna destroy a month's worth of work in the gym, which is why Planet Fitness Pizza Monday and Bagel Tuesday only roll around once a month. Moderation is key, yet as you might expect, these free junk food days have come with even more public backlash. I'm yeah, but but since they're, they're all about promoting a certain image, promoting this or that, whatever, wouldn't you want your day of like of like treat to be like a treat that isn't fuck it? It's it's a fa it's a fair thing, but but it's about the optics. Would you want to want your one thing that's really to be pizza? Eh. Doing like squats and deadlifts and the smell of like a hundred pizzas is coming at me. It's just not right, Planet Fitness. Come on. The pizza being in the gym, it's just not right. They don't go together. Offer free salads, offer free, I don't know, protein shakes. But pizza? No, Planet Fitness. Pizza at a gym well, is like having AA meetings in a bar. Nothing like getting a good workout than enjoying a high calorie pizza afterwards, hashtag gains. It's actually a genius tactic. You go there to lose weight. Wait, he's eating one. I just realized you're right. <laughs> You're right! You get in shape, they give you pizza, you gain some weight, you have to go back to lose that weight. Keeps you in that gain weight, lose weight cycle. Planet Fitness not actually okay, wanting dude. their members to lose weight might also explain some of the other things that you can get with your membership, such as their total body enhancement chamber, which sounding like a pile of infomercial garbage, apparently helps work muscle groups, firms and tones the body, as well as helps reduce stress. However, these no effort scam machines just reiterate the type of customers that Planet Fitness are generally going after. Oh, what are you doing their there? cheap $10 per month memberships are seemingly designed to appeal to people who will go once or twice, never turn up again, but also never cancel their membership because, well, nobody can be bothered to go into the gym to cancel it when it's only 33 cents per day. What do I have to do to cancel this membership? Oh, you have to come in into the, the location or else write a letter. The gym where I stay is 45 minutes away from where I live at. Is those are the only two ways? Yes, those are the only two ways. You have to physically come in to cancel your membership. And judging from some of the videos well, on YouTube, it seems like this strategy is incredibly effective. I've given them $10 a month for four years, and I've never stepped foot inside the gym. Just to add a cherry on top of the cake, if you do want to cancel your membership, there are then massive fees involved, as well as other small charges that force you to spend more money before you officially leave. What? Make sure you don't break your contract, because if you break your contract, then it's $150 to get out of it. I see that I still got a payment, a charge from Planet Fitness. Now my membership is discontinued. Trying to get rid of gym memberships is, is basically trying to get rid of a boyfriend that won't go away or a nasty rash. Their business model is to sell memberships to people who don't go regularly. Oh, makes, Think about it, there can be 10,000 members for that one yeah. gym, but if everyone goes, then the place would be so busy it would either violate legal codes or be so packed you wouldn't be able to work out because everyone is using something. And honestly, it's hard to blame them. Businesses are created to make money and with over 2,000 gyms across the globe, Planet Fitness has been XQC extremely successful, F yet unfortunately they've done so whilst picking up the nickname Planet Fatness in the process. Chat, technically what happens if you just cancel your card? Chat. What happens if you just cancel your card and get a new one then? So the payments don't go through anymore. What happens then?